Hello buddies, welcome back to my ASMR channel. So in today's video, we're going to be testing out this DIY hair dyeing tutorial. I got this idea from Nicole Skies. I do want to mention I don't watch her channel, but I have nothing against her channel. But I was looking up, you know, easy DIY slime and tried two different types of slime was a fail. Um, so I decided I would try this instead. Um, so we're going to dye my mannequin head today, her hair, not all of it. And we're going to see if it works. And even if it doesn't work, I'm going to uh, keep the video and still upload it just to show you what I, you know, y'all you, can tell me what I did wrong or whatever, but I wouldn't do my actual hair with this because I have dark hair and it wouldn't show up properly with this um, technique, I don't think. So I'm going to take this comb and if you hear some background noises, it is very windy here today and there is a big tree in front and behind my house. So you might hear the limbs rustling because I know I can. So her hair is quite wavy in the front because um, I just took out a braid. So I'm just going to comb it out first. like it's on this side but I guess technically it might be on that side but I want it to go this way because this is the way my hair parts um and I just work easier with it going to the right so I'm gonna put her hair this way if it'll work if it won't I'll switch so what we're gonna do and like I said I have no clue if this is gonna work if it doesn't um by the title, you should already know because I will put DIY fail in the title. Um, but let's hope it works. So I'm gonna hopefully you can see. I don't know. I might plug in my Christmas lights and maybe it'll put a little bit more light. But half of the strand of light stopped working. Okay. So I have this comb, like I said, and I'm just going, and I don't know if you're probably going to be able to see me, um, because I've never used this angle before, but I'm just going to part her hair to one side, and I'm going to just, like I said, brush it out, and it's all wavy, but in her tutorial, she, all she did was, um, used hair, um, food coloring, and she didn't wet her hair, she didn't use conditioner with it, she just basically applied it to her hair, and then she said she blow dried it, but I don't think I'm gonna blow dry it, because, um, for one, it'd be too loud for the video, and two, I just don't, um, really feel like getting mine out, and I don't think mine works anyway, it's brand new, and I can't get it to work, so yeah, so I'm gonna go grab a ponytail, and I'll be right back, okay, so here are the ponytails, and we're just going to section off the piece we want, and then put everything else so I just want to do the front of her hair. Now, I do want to mention also that I have tried this before, but the technique I used did not work. Um, I used food coloring mixed with conditioner, and it didn't really work. Um, it did, I don't know if you could see it, I did the ends of it. Um, you can't see it anymore. But, um, well, like right after I did it, you could see like just a tiny bit. But it wasn't even enough to, you know, to even, like, I don't know. It just didn't work. So, um, I'm just going to section it off. And this 
I don't know if you guys know this about me, but my um, future career is I'm going to be going into cosmetology school. So I'm going to have to learn how to do all this stuff, um, this stuff anyways. So I'm just pouring it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and if you're doing this, and if by the title you see it does work, um, oh god, let me do that. Um, you know, you can do probably any part of the hair, but it'd probably only work with blonde hair, to be honest. Um, for all the brownies out there, like me, this probably won't work on you. That's why I'm having to use my mannequin head. So I'm actually tying this off so I can secure while I put everything else up. Just like that. And I'm going to hopefully the tripod the tripod she's on won't make a bunch of noise. It's kind of broke. So um, I'm trying to tightly brush it back in the ponytail. See right there? You can see it. It's, um, there. I think because some of the hair dye actually got in globs, um, when I put the last one in, which I did that in, like, the beginning of December, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe a few days before Christmas I did it, and, um, so it was a long time ago. So I placed everything else back in a ponytail. And now, this section, like I said, it's not even, but it's fine. And if you're wanting to know where I got my mannequin head, I got it off of Amazon. Um, but I got it for Christmas, so I don't know, like, what website or anything like that. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I can lay this down because the rest is my home. I'm going to put these gloves on because I do not want my hands to get dirty with food coloring, even though... Um, they'll probably end up getting dirty anyway. And this is hair dye from this morning because I dyed my mom's hair a uh, mahogany brown. And I've actually wore these gloves before, so it's got, like, little spots on it. I don't know. Okay, so let's get the other glove on. And I can make this video a little bit long. Uh -oh. I can make this video a little bit longer than usual because... It has a longer time to upload because, um, you know, I don't have to wake up at 5 in the morning because it's the weekend, so I hate the struggle of trying to get gloves on sometimes. Oh my god. But it's ASMR, right? So it doesn't matter how long it takes. Okay. So these are way too big on me, as you can already see, um, but it doesn't matter. So the food coloring I'm using today is this, um, pink, um, I don't know if this is the purple or pink, I'm thinking this is the purple. Um, I was gonna want to dye her hair, like, blue, but I couldn't find the food coloring, because this is actually my sister's. So, I'm just going to, under the top, and the way she did it was she squirted it on the glove itself and then applied it so we're gonna try that but I'm afraid it's gonna get on her skin um, and I did not prep for this so what I'm gonna actually gonna do I think is I'm just going to just grab the first little layer of the hair I think just like this I'm sorry I keep sniffling my allergies are acting up today gonna grab a complete random section. Okay, just like that. And let me clip or put this off out of the way. Just like that. Okay, so let me apply the food coloring now. Okay, 
So I'm just going to apply the food coloring. Uh oh. And it's dripping. Yeah, this is the purple. And I literally just started this video idea like how many minutes ago? Like just a second. I might actually just like, I don't know if you could see that. So I hope this works because every time I go to do a DIY, it <clears throat> it never works. Like I've did so many DIYs and none of them seem to work. The hair's actually coming out, guys. This might have been a bad idea. It's like hardening. She did not use the same type of, uh, like, the brand of hair dye I used. Um, I meant food coloring, but I don't think that would matter, would it? It shouldn't. Uh, okay. I'm just kind of dabbing at the roots now. I'm trying to rub it in. And I know this is going to be probably so patchy. I can probably get some alcohol to get that off. Um, but I know if it's on your actual skin, it'll come off eventually anyway. So... Just tap, 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 And I don't have much food going, so I couldn't do the whole head. Maybe when I did the conditioner, the reason why it didn't work is maybe it diluted the food coloring too much. But I just assumed you needed something to like moisturize the head with. But I guess not. I mean, I don't know. It just didn't work, to be honest. Okay. So I'm finding the technique of just like applying it by the um, actual container itself works a little bit better than applying it to the glove. Because you have more control over where it goes. Um. And I'm really sorry if y'all can't see. I can look through the phone right now, but if I do that, I can't see exactly what I'm doing here. So, because the way I have it set up, I can see both, but I can't really see what I'm doing. I just know y'all can see. Okay. So it did get a little bit on the other, but like I said, I don't even know if this is going to work. So I'm going to take the comb, and I'm just going to brush it out. And you can see it's a little bit patchy, and it looks brown in the actual camera, I think. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Just let it sit off to the side, and I'm going to do this. And it gets on her face. I really think I'm running out, guys. I do have a pink that I could start using, but I can't really find it, to be honest. Okay guys, 
so I'm back. I had to pause the video for a minute. So I think we did run out of the um, food coloring. But I, my mom said she was going to go out and buy some more in a minute. I'm trying to set. Hopefully that might be some ASMR sounds. But I think we might just have enough. I don't know. There's not much more we need to add. Even, you know, not knowing this may not even work. We don't know yet. These gloves are getting so sticky. Because I'm just trying to work what's what's on my gloves as well um, into the hair. See how this is still blonde. Um, but like I said, I don't know if this is going to work or not. Um, but if it does, it would be really cool. And the only thing I see now is I just want to get the little... I might cut this open. Let me go cut this little container open and I'll be back. Okay, so I went and opened it up, and see, as you can see, I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger, just rub it in the roots. And I'm doing this near my dresser, so it's probably going to stain. Like, guys, I would love to do DIYs for y'all, but the thing about that, like DIY ASMR videos, but the thing about that is I can never get them to work. I just have bad luck with that kind of stuff. Like, extremely bad luck. Like, I watched a video this morning of, um, you know how to make toothpaste slop, and I did exactly what they did in the video, and it did, I thought it was working at first because I was getting some, like, it was getting a slimy texture, but it was, like, when you went to touch it, it was, it was, it just felt like toothpaste and glue. Um. Okay. So I don't know how much more we're going to get dyed here. Move this over a little bit. And just ignore the mess in the background. I gotta clean my room in a minute. And I don't even know if any of y'all knew I had a mannequin head. I'm sure y'all seen it in the background of some of my videos. Okay, so I did what I could, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit. In the, her video, she said that she, um, she didn't like say it, but she typed, you know, had it edited on the screen saying, leave it in for about 20 minutes or more. So that's what I'm going to do here, um, and if it's any less that I do, I'll let you know the exact, you know, how long, um, it takes. Uh, kind of hard to brush and um I will be back to try to show you um me washing it out and see if it works so I'll see you guys in a minute okay so before I went and washed it out and it I literally just stopped the video so it hasn't been any time but I just wanted to show you what it looked like before we went and washed it out so you get a good view of it um in case it does work you want to see like the before and afters so this is what it looks like. It looks like an auburn red or brown in this, but, and there's patches on, I know, um, but, yeah, so let's go, um, let it sit, and like I said just before, and then I'll show you the after, um, when we're done washing it in about 20 minutes or 15, you know, so I'll see you in a minute. 
Okay guys, so I put the mannequin head in the bathtub and I'm going to rinse her hair out. It's been about 20 or 15 minutes and I'm going to rinse it out, but I was going to rinse it out with hot water, but then I thought about it and I'm not too sure, but aren't you supposed to rinse out colors like this with cold water? I'm not sure. It's just a, a DIY um, um, practice run or whatever, so we're just going to test it out. So I'm going to do it with cold water. So I'm just going to hold it out like this because I don't want it to get on the rest of the hair. And I'm going to um, use the hose on the faucet and this may make a little bit of a loud noise so warning um, if you guys seen my washing my hair out video or washing my hair you'll know it does make a little bit of a noise so just beware I'm warning you now. It is getting on her um, other parts of the hair, but it don't really matter. Okay, so I think we've rinsed out the majority of it. It's still a little bit coming out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse the rest of it out off a of video. And then I'm going to go blow dry it because um, I, want it, I want you guys to see what it looks like, you know, completely done. And I will be back to show you the finished product if it works. You know, like I said, in the title, you'll see. I'll put fell in the title if it does not work. So, um, you guys, you know, don't have to watch this being hopeful and not knowing. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll show you the fin finished product, okay? Okay, so before I went, uh, I'm going to blow dry it, I decided I would brush it out for the video since it is ASMR. So I'm just going to brush it out. And I'm in my mom's bathroom right now. I don't think you guys have ever seen it. Um, it's pretty messy, but that is her walk-in shower. See, the part that has the food coloring in it, it is, like, very hard to brush. It's, like, hard. Like, actual, like, hard in the hair. And a lot of the hair is coming out. Uh-oh, I can't see. So now I'm going to blow dry it, and I'll be right back. And let me just... Okay guys, so I am finished blow drying it. It's still a little damp, but I'm going to show you the end result. And it looks um, like this actually worked, guys. Like, and like I said, ignore the background stuff. This is her. And you can see it's faded out on the top, but I actually like that. I don't know if you guys would like that um, or not. 
the light, it some faded into what I didn't dye, which I think is kind of pretty. And then, this, so, um, I guess, in the title, you won't see Phil in the name, because it actually worked, guys, like, I'm so happy. And my mom, like I said, is going to buy more food coloring, so I might dye her hair different colors, like, on the sides and stuff. I don't know. Um, but I'll have to see. So, actually, before I end the video, I'm going to pause it, and I'm going to French braid it, and see what it looks like French braided, and then I'll show you what it looks like with a style, with this color, okay? So, I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished braiding her hair, and I only did the front part of the bangs, as you can see, when the braid goes down. Um, I only did the front part because I was going to do the whole, like, whole French braid thing, but the hair is, in the texture it is right now, because I didn't shampoo it or conditioner it, it's, it, it gets knotted up very easy, and it was such a struggle. Um, and it's already took me, like, 30 minutes trying to get this far, so I did braid it. So that's the final result. So um, if you want to know if it worked, yes, it worked. And I do recommend you trying this if you have like blonde hair and um, your parents allow you to dye your hair. So um, this is like a super really easy tutorial. It would have been a lot easier if I wasn't doing an ASMR video, I feel like. But um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more ASMR videos. Bye, my tingle buddies.